ahead of his uh, first topic is what is uh, E. coli or bacterium E. coli you know so or uh, E. coli uh, 1.57 H7 you know now the stereotype E. coli is a bacterium that can produce uh, bloody diarrhea due to toxins and especially uh, Shiga you know or also known as Vero and a toxin that uh, it produces and uh, it's uh, uh, secreted when the bacterium infects the human intestine, you know. And now the other E. coli uh, serotypes like uh, uh, 145 or 105 H4 uh, can act like uh, 157 H7 if they acquire the ability to produce the uh, Shiga or virotoxin, you know. Now the early symptoms of the E. coli uh, infection may include like uh, the fever which is more than 100 degree uh, Fahrenheit or more than 37 degree centigrade, 30.7.7 uh, uh, degree centigrade, you know, or nausea or vomiting or uh, uh, stomach cramps, uh, diarrhea that is often bloody or malaise or poor food intake or mild dehydration and because of the uh, vomiting or nausea, you know. Now, the latest symptoms of E. coli uh, infection may include like uh, hemorrhagic diarrhea, uh, which means that a large amount of blood in the stools, you know, or anemia because of this uh, uh, hemorrhagic diarrhea and pale skin color, which is also because of the blood loss, you know. And uh, other symptoms that may include are like uh, severe dehydration, a little or no urine output, or severe abdominal pain, uh, easy bruising, or uh, nosebleeds, uh, fatigue, or shortness of breath. A generalized swelling, uh, the renal failure, you know, joinders or excessive bleeding, or seizures, mental changes, and the inverse scenario could be the death, you know. Uh, so the E. coli infection is contagious and can be spread from person to person by uh, fecal uh, contamination, you know. Uh, e. coli is uh, notorious because it can cause additional complications in children and the elderly as well, like. Um, or renal failure or anemia or dehydration especially for the children you know uh, and uh, spontaneous bleeding or organ failure and uh, uh, like uh, mental changes in the elderly uh, you know people you know and uh, some of these patients uh, develop uh, permanent disabilities these are uh, in the severe cases uh, uh, death can occur in the, uh, if the infection is very severe and if not treated properly you know now the E. coli infections uh, that produce late or uh, and severe symptoms may require a team of specialists to treat the patient, uh, including like uh, physicians and, uh, and especially the physicians who uh, specialize in uh, infectious diseases, you know. Uh, diagnosis is uh, definitely uh, made when E. coli uh, is uh, isolated and uh, usually uh, it's done by the patient's stool examination, you know, and uh, uh, identified uh, uh, as a serotype uh, 157 with the uh, immunologic tests, you know. Uh, now, the most E. coli infections are resolved spontaneously and require no treatment, you know, but uh, uh, supportive treatment is required uh, quickly uh, if the patient becomes dehydrated or anemic or develop the uh, other severe symptoms, you know. And the majority of the E. coli infections have excellent outcomes, uh, but if complications develop, um, uh, the prognosis get, uh, uh, chances get uh, uh, decreased, you know. Uh, uh, thank you very much for watching this video. If you need more information about uh, any medical condition, you can visit our website www.diseasesandtreatment.com. Thank you. Goodbye.